Good morning, my beautiful reader friends. It's Tiffany with an IE, as you can see. You, and um, I'm filming from a different angle this time because I have a lot of books and plushies. It's just chaos right now. But I am going to be doing a bunch of things in this video. So one, a massive book haul. There's some books off screen as well. Um, so I'm going to have to get up to get those as well. Um, and then I also have um, one of the books is a special edition from Owl Crate, which I still haven't opened. So that'll be like a small unboxing. And then the last thing is um, I also have books from Little Free Libraries and also some cute Pokemon stuff. So yeah, I will roll all of the Little Free Library footage first. Three of them were in North Park and three of them were closer to me. So yeah, enjoy that footage first and then I will gather my stuff and then I'll come back and do the book haul. So I will see you in a little bit. <laughs> you enjoyed all that footage I know it was a lot um, that first one with like the cute little pencil um, whatever it is like figurine um, and the apple blossom hand sanitizer really cute and they were kind of near me in Claremont um, the next time I went back there the hand sanitizer was gone so I think someone took it which is not very nice then um, the next two were both in North Park, pretty close to each other. Um, actually, the next three. <laughs> and then um, the fifth one, the one that says Penny's Bookshop, that's like blue and red and really cute. It's actually near um, my best friend's um, parents' house, so also near me. And then the last one um, with the Seed Library and the little free library next to it, which was quite interesting, is right at the mosque, which is right in my neighborhood. 
Um, yeah, so that was interesting. I think the little free library is new because it was only the seed library before. And I kept wondering like, what is that? Why doesn't it have books in it? And then when I finally looked at it, I'm like, oh, it's a seed library. That's really interesting. Um, and then if you watch my other little free library um, haul and vlog, um, it's quite popular, but I also go to about six of them in there. And, um, and then there was like a seventh one after I filmed that video um, that I found in Escondido, which I included in my birthday book haul. So be sure to check that one out as well. But without further ado, let's just get into all these books because there's quite a lot. Um, right now, since it's been a while, I don't remember everything that, um, which books came from which little free library. And I've also taken some books that I didn't want or that I had extras of and I've put them at, um, left them at other little free libraries so that I'm not just like hoarding all the books. But yeah, okay, let's just get into it. So I found um, How to Catch a Queen by Alyssa Cole. Um, she's a really big romance author. And she also recently wrote um, When No One Is Watching, which is her first thriller. And I've heard really good things about it and how it's like, um, it talks about um, gentrification and microaggressions and so many things. And yeah, like I definitely wanna read that one. Um, yeah, I'm not a big romance person, but I heard her romance is really good. And you can see that it's, um, she's a black author and she has black characters. So yeah. Um, and then um, from that same library, I also found Persepolis. And I think this is an old library version, but um, this is a nonfiction graphic novel that I've heard really good things about. And then I found this book of the month version of Lies She Told by Kate Hollihan. I don't really know much about this. Looks like a thriller, mystery thriller. Um, I actually might um, just return this to a different library or, um, or give it to a friend. I'm not sure yet. Oh, there's a bookmark in it. <laughs> I didn't even know. Okay. Anyways, um, oh, these two were from the same one. So there's the first Artemis Fowl book, which I've only read the third one and part of the fourth one. So yeah, I definitely want to read the first one. I found, um, yeah, okay. Just making sure this wasn't an arc, but I found the Sisters of the Winterwood by Rena Rossner has this beautiful cover. And yeah, I don't know much about this. Um, Madeline Miller blurbed it, but this is a fantasy. And then I found these children's books. So we have Animal Arc, Ponies at the Point. I used to read like a bunch of Animal Arc books when I was a kid. I really loved these. Um, I used to read a lot of books about animals. Um, these aren't talking animals though. The main characters, they, um, well, the main character and her best friend, they help out at this veterinary clinic called Animal Arc. Um, the main character, she's the daughter of the veterinarians and yeah. It talks about like all the animals that come into the clinic or that, you know, they find and they treat and then, yeah. <laughs> so it's very cute. Um, I found Ivy Aberdeen's Letter to the World. This is LGBTQ and it's middle grade. Um, Ashley Herring Blake also has um, some YA books. This is actually her middle grade debut but she's more known for her YA books that deal with like really tough topics. So yeah, decided to pick this up. Um, I found A Wind in the Door. This is, I think this is the second one. Yes, there's a number two on it, but this is the sequel to A Wrinkle in Time. There's five books total. I've read A Wrinkle in Time. 
um, when I was, I think in college actually, and I liked it. Um, although Meg is kind of annoying, but yeah, I want to see how the rest of the books are. And, um, this one still follows the same characters as, um, as A Wrinkle in Time, but I know the other three kind of follow other characters. So there's like a whole family tree chart at the beginning or something. Not in this one, but yeah. Okay. Um, I found The Tale of Emily Winsnap, and this I've read like a tiny bit of the beginning before. This is a different cover as well. So yeah, I mean, I want to finish books I started, right? And then I found um, Racing in the Rain, My Life as a Dog. Um, I've heard good things about this and, you know, there's a dog on it, so it's it's cute. So um, that's it for the Little Free Library um, haul. And then I have books that I got from Book Off, which um, I actually have my own copy of these books, but some of them are special owl crate editions, so I had to rescue them. So I'll be giving them to friends. Um, first off, I found I Love You So Mochi by Sarah Kuhn. She's a local author. And this copy is actually signed. I have a signed and personalized copy from when I met Sarah. So I'll be passing this one along. And then I found The Bells by Danielle Clayton. This one's actually signed to someone else but my friend has the same name. So if she doesn't already have a hardcover copy, I know she read the ARC, but I don't know if she has a hardcover copy, then I might give her this. So yeah, this is like a fantasy world where um, the bells are like this elite group that are beautiful and they're able to make other people beautiful because everyone's born like gray and lifeless and stuff. So yeah, it really, um, you know, social commentary about beauty and stuff. And then I found this beautiful version of The Secret Garden. I already have my own pretty version, um, but yeah, I love this book and I hope my friend will too. I mean, it's, it's very beautiful. Oh, the spine too. And then we have the three Alucard editions. So I found All the Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace. Um, with this lighting, it's hard to see. There we go. But um, yeah, this is the Alucard edition where it's like teal and a bunch of stuff. And Adeline is a local author. It also has purple end pages and it has something on the hardcover. So and it's purple underneath, which the original one doesn't have that. <clears throat> so I already have the regular edition signed and personalized by her, so I'll give this to a friend, but this is, um, because it's Alcrate, there is a tip and page with her signature, so. Next I have Star Daughter. Um, you may recognize this if you've seen like my first video because this was in my Alcrate unboxing which <laughs> launched my booktube um, channel. And yeah, this has purple sprayed edges and it's purple and silver, it's super beautiful. Um, purple end pages. Yeah, so it's super pretty. And then it also has a tip and page where there's the author's signature as well. And this one is like described as like Persian mythology meets Neil Gaiman Stardust. So I'm hoping to read this this month. So I will let you know if that happens, but it's really beautiful, but I already have an exact copy like this. So it will go to a friend. And the last one is Bone Crier's Moon by Catherine Purdy. This is the Alcrate edition with yellow sprayed edges, well, actually more like gold. Um, and it also has the tip and page with the signature. And 
yeah so I've heard good things about this it's a fantasy um, the kids are awake I was hoping to do this before they woke up um, but actually let me open let me open my owl crate next because it is oh this is this is a lot Ugh. oh no the, the kids are crying okay so i realize i actually have a second box that i need to unbox as well so here's my owl crate and oh there's all the worms inside let's see so almost dropped that okay so we have the Allocrate exclusive edition of Bone Cryer's Dawn. Oh, it has silver sprayed edges. Um, yeah, I should just open this now. So yeah, this is the sequel to Bone Cryer's Moon. And um, since Allocrate had chosen Bone Cryer's, Bone Cryer's Moon as their pick last year, they decided to do a special edition of the sequel. And I think it's only a duology, so here we go, without that glare. And here's the signature. Oh, and it's purple underneath. Okay, I'll put that there. Okay, um, before I do the second unboxing, I'll show the other books first. So I got a bunch of books at Book Off. I'm actually not showing all of them because some of them are for um, my special 200 subscriber video, which I have yet to do because I have to set some stuff up for that. But then I will talk about those books. Um, so let's see. I have... This one, Technically You Started It by Lana Wood Johnson. Um, the author is on the A spectrum as demisexual. So this is in the LGBTQ category. And this book is very um, interesting because it's told all in text messages. So I'm like, I could probably fly through this book. And she has pink hair. So that's awesome. Next, I have, oh, they're all over here. Okay, so I have Ava and Pip. This looks like a middle grade. Um, I don't know anything about this. I just picked it up because it was pretty and short and you know it has the same cover art underneath the dust jacket, which is pretty cool because not many books do that. And then, Oh, and then I got, um, let's see, I will talk about that one in a different video. Okay, I got The Price Guide to the Occult by Leslie Walton. It has red sprayed edges and naked hardcover with this printed on. Um, but yeah, this was just too beautiful to pass up. And I read her other book, The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender, and I liked it. Um, although that one does have a trigger warning for rape. Um, this one also sounds interesting, has to do with witches. So yeah, we'll see how that how it is. Then I picked up this middle grade called The Bone Garden by Heather Kastner. Um, there's a hand on the back. It reminds me of Coraline. But it looks spooky and it's short, so you might read this during the spooky season. Oh, and then the last one I got. I'm so happy about this. But this is an owl crate version of Incendiary by Zoraida Cordova, which I've been wanting to read, but also kind of wanting to get the owl crate version too. This is really heavy. Um, yeah, because, well, there's the signature. But there, there was like the other time that I was at Book Off and these other girls found this and they bought it. 
so they got to it before me <laughs> but that's okay because i made friends with them but now i finally found my own version so i'm very happy about that um the next book so i have some manga this is cutie and the beast which is the um blind date with a book manga edition that i never got to open until my friend dj and i hung out so i finally got to open it this is what it was this is a mess of books right now um i also bought these books to go with the bookstagram photo that i still need to take but this is instant teen it's really cute and gimmicky with like the whole nutrition facts as the synopsis so here's the first one and it says just add nuts <laughs> here's the second one and then the third one and the fourth one okay then I have, um, I bought The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle because I love this book and I also want to use this for an Instagram photo. Um, but yeah, I thought I should get my own copy then. So yeah, I've already read and loved this book. And then, oh boy, I bought, um, the first Earthsea book, um, a Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula K. Le Guin. I've heard really great things about this. Of course, it's about wizards. And um, there's like six books in the series. But I also found out that um, there's a Studio Ghibli movie that's based on one of the books in this series. Although it's very different. Just like how Howl's Moving Castle is very different from the movie. So yeah, I want to read this. And... Okay, now we'll go on to books that I bought myself. So, I have a bunch of those. I bought this cute little boba cookbook. <laughs> Apparently we're in a boba shortage right now, which is kind of funny, kind of not. Um, and then I got, I was so excited for this, That Way Madness Lies, 15... 15 of Shakespeare's most notable works reimagined edited by Dahlia Adler and there's a bunch of authors in here and they all do different Shakespeare retellings and I love Shakespeare so super excited for that and then oh there's all the books um I got Namesake by Adrian Young and this one I bought from Malaprops, so they shipped it to me. It's signed by her, but um, yeah, I didn't make it in time for the cutoff date to get it personalized because that would have been nice, but oh well. So I loved Fable because this is the sequel and can't wait to dive back into this world. Oh, also, this is underneath the dust jacket. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> and then I have, um, my friend got me this for my birthday. It is Triple Chocolate Cheesecake Murder. So this is another one of the food murder mystery books that I really enjoy. I still need to catch up on that series. Um, and then I bought, I bought Milkshakes for the Almost Dead by Lulu Wood. This is an independently published book. Um, it's really thick. I thought this was a graphic novel at first, but it's actually an actual novel. Um, I bought this for an Instagram photo as well, um, but it also did sound interesting. Meg with Books said that this um, author is actually her dad's friend, I think, so yeah, but that's where I heard about it from. It's from her channel. And then I bought Firekeeper's Daughter uh, because I've heard amazing things about it. And um, I've actually listened to a lot of the audiobook and it's pretty intense. And, you know, indigenous rep. And 
it's part of Reese's YA book club. So yeah, I mean, Fable was part of Reese's YA book club as well. So it's so pretty. Um, yeah, I need to finish this. So, oh, there is something. Uh, you cannot see it. Oh, there. There's like a leaf imprint. Okay. So, <clears throat> then I have my two recent acquisitions that I got from Barnes & Noble. Um, I got Luck of the Titanic by Stacey Lee. This um, I mentioned in my most anticipated releases from May to August. This just came out on May 4th. And this is a historical fiction um, story about these two British Chinese acrobats who are on board the Titanic when it sinks, obviously. Yeah, <clears throat> so I've never read any Stacey Lee, but I've heard that her books are really good. So I'm excited. And then this book, The Ones We're Meant to Find by Joan He. It's so beautiful. Oh, by the way, my homegirl Marie Lu blurbed both of these books. So that definitely made me want to pick them up. And then look at the, oh my gosh, the end pages are so beautiful. And then also on the hardcover, like, oh my gosh, this book is so beautiful. I'm so excited. And I have Joan's other book, Descendant of the Crane. So I just want to read her books. They sound so amazing. Okay. And then before I get to this box, I'm going to finally open my Pokemon things. Oh no. Because I've been wanting to know what's in these. So let me open them. I need my scissors for this. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Let's open this one. The kids are being loud now. So, what did I get? Oh, and this one was actually ripped. Okay. There's the gum. Oh, I got Pikachu. Of course. Um, I would have liked to get Dragonair or maybe Lapras. I already have a Pikachu item, so, I mean, Pikachu is very popular. So, here we have it. We've got to assemble this together. So, it's just that. And then, Pikachu, I think. Is that it? Yeah, so I don't know how you're going to stay put. <laughs> so there's Pikachu, not really stable. And let's open this one. So, I mean, I'm hoping to get either Espeon or Jirachi. Let's see, I already have two Pikachu things and one Bulbasaur thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got one that I like. So there's the gum. So I got Jirachi. <laughs> I'm so, so happy. Time to put this together. Okay, so there you go. Super cute. And it comes with a sticker that says Jirachi. I'll put it on later or something. Okay. Here's that. So this book I have seen on Instagram and then I had to buy it because that's basically what everyone else did too. But this mysterious book called the Octonummy. Let's take a look. It's 
very beautiful. It ships from the UK, so. Let's see. Oh. How do I? Okay. is beautiful so look at this and black sprayed edges wow this book is super beautiful so I'm editing this really long video and there was actually something I forgot to add in so I'll just add it in now but I was wondering why this book, I kept trying to flatten it and it was like not flattening. And I realized because there was stuff in the book. So I found this, there's um, another one of these, but it has this really pretty gold scenic um, thing. And then it comes with, um, this is one of the special things it comes with. It has a dictionary and um, or yeah so it has like definitions of all the words that um the author created as well as pronunciation a pronunciation guide of all the words so that's really cool and handy um also this book is only like um it smells like paint um but this thick book is like only the prologue of the story and there's supposed to be like 11 or 12 volumes of this so it's gonna be a lot but yeah okay I don't want to take up too much time so yeah just wanted to let you know about that because it's something I forgot but um but yeah bye okay well that's it for this very long video I hope you enjoyed it and all my chaos um yeah so I'm probably going to edit out some parts of this because it's just like me opening things. But yeah, anyways, um, I'll see you in my next one. Bye!